<laughs> so I'm, I'm at Zuele train station now. Guys, good morning. Hope you guys are well. You guys should look behind me. You are going to see a building which is somehow uh, painted. Is it red? Red or what color is that? Well, um, actually, I came for biometrics. Biometrics for for residence permit okay so i came here for biometrics or residence permit that's the building the ind building that's the dutch immigration in zuele yeah they call it dutch immigration in zuele so that's where i came for my biometrics that was the closest so now i am walking back you see i'm walking back to to the train station the Zwelle train station in the Netherlands <laughs> I have to go back to Leeuwarden yeah because that's where my school is so I still have to go I don't know what time the next train will come but of course the next available one I will take immediately so that's why I'm running so fast because this is uh, almost 9.20 and uh, I have uh, a class I have a class at um, 10.45 but I doubt if I'm still going to be early not because of time because definitely I still have one hour to go to reach where I'm going to from this train station so i think it's not going to be bad one hour from now should be 10 17 or 10 20. so definitely i will reach school early but i have an interview with uh, one particular department in my university i will explain to you guys later not now so the ind office is just behind me in zuele it's not far from here so I've given them the biometrics they took my picture um, then they took my fingerprint you know what I noticed here today yeah when I was thinking that maybe they were going to take maybe take blood samples and blah 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 but <laughs> that was not what happened and one thing I noticed today was yeah they take your fingerprints not like us in cameroon right they take the first the big thumb then after this one they go for this after this they go for this after this they go for this and the last one one after the other that's how it's done yeah you cannot do four immediately or one and three or whatever but at this uh, Dutch immigration you have to go one after the other that's how it is beside the Dutch immigration on the lower side is the police station yeah that's a police car passing behind me so that's how it is okay someone is entering here let me wait so that they can pass. Mm. Okay. So, I was even thinking all those things. I had one funny thing that also uh, happened. When I went there, they gave me, because of course you have to come here on appointment only. So they saw my name, they took my passport, the woman flipped through my passport <laughs> check 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 saw my visa checked came back check and told me okay now she will have to check my passport properly so i wait i was waiting there then she took it into a particular a particular room i don't even know what happened in there so they had to check again then she came back at about three to five minutes and said okay your passport is okay now so you can go <laughs> Cameroon passport oh 
anyways so i'm going now straight to my school to continue my day they said they will send to my residence permit to my university in uh, two weeks time but i guess it's going to come early then my school will inform me so i will be waiting then the last one i needed house contract yeah i was still struggling with accommodation issues but i have the contract right now with me so i've also booked an appointment for that and the contract is gonna come uh i also have the contract now then for the appointment we have to go to the council then the council needs to give us a particular number me particular number and then with that number now i can use it i can use the number now to book to book uh, not to book but to to create an account in the bank remember i have always said that when you deposit that money and you come here the school will give you back fifteen thousand right to those who have watched my previous videos they understand what i mean so until i open an account here before i can get the money back so i need to go get the bsn number then everybody has the number here you cannot do anything here without that number and you can't get that number without a contract verified okay <laughs> yeah things are not like the other places so my appointment is still to come i have to go there collect bsn then i go to the bank and open a bank account after that my my legality here will be now okay i can now do so many other things if i wish so that is the update guys yeah so guys today we are going to a museum uh my course demands that we meet there today so it's part of uh our coursework that's the only thing we have for today uh this is museum what well that one says friesland museum i guess it's this way because my google map shows me that i have to go this way so now i need to walk towards this direction i hope i'm not missing out anything but again i'm still going to be asking them because i believe it's a very popular museum here so definitely many people should know where it's located yeah so that is it now let me say something real quick i saw a comment somewhere on facebook on another page another colleague running a page and somebody said in fact she was the one who posted it and someone said he has one million and wants to study abroad i'm going to make an extensive video to explain all these details so that maybe some people can understand because i believe many people still don't know brother if you have just one million cfa francs two million cfa francs three million cfa francs and you are the only one who have to pay your tuition fee abroad do your proof of funds right then you sponsor yourself i mean the only one then you move abroad then that money is absolutely small yes because when you get admissions you need to first of all pay a tuition deposit right you need to pay a tuition deposit before you can get confirmation from your school to actually start visa application so you need to know all of this now like i said that money is too small right so the best way to do go about it is to apply for scholarships erasmus mundus is about to open commonwealth is open shivening is open i'm going to be making extensive videos about all of these on my youtube channel very soon so please make sure you take a look at my channel okay because a lot is going to be on it today